hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word give it light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. We release the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Let every darkness bring them out. Let every chain, let every spirit that has tied down men, tied down destinies, release them now. Release them now. Release them now. By the fire of the Holy Spirit, every demonic occurrence around your life, in the name of Jesus, be delivered. Bring them out very quickly in the name that is above all names. Sheka parakatos kaprakatelakatos, krata bagatavaratusiata. Spirits of inheritance, curses and yokes, spirits of ancestry. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Sing that song for me again. In the name of Jesus. While still praying, I want to pray for you right now. I'm hearing the sound of chains. I'm not seeing it, but I'm hearing the sound of chains. And I have the ministration in my spirit that these chains represent yokes of delay tying people down and will not let you go forward i pray for you right now let that fire fall upon every individual and every family my god every chain that has kept you in the same position right now in the name of jesus and at the count of three let that chain be broken one two three break now break now break now break now let that chain be broken 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 in the name of jesus the son of the living god all kinds of chains anti-destiny spells be broken now hallelujah the lord is asking me to pray you have had a strange occurrence where demon spirits come to sleep between the night. They use the faces of individuals, male or female, it does not matter. When good things are about to happen, listen to me. Then you go to bed in the night and that molestation happens. By the next day, the opportunity is just aborted. I pray for you now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit, anyone under the sound of my voice, and you are a victim of this demonic molestation, at the count of three, be released right now. One, two, three. Be released right now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are still praying. Mysterious dreams seeing yourself writing exams without passing seeing yourself in secondary schools homes and places that you left years ago i tell you they have prophetic implications by the god of heaven everything that connects you with yesterday the course of yesterday the tragedy by god fire is falling i decree right now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now! Be delivered now! I'm hearing in my spirit, rebuke the cost that is upon firstborns. Rebuke the cost that is upon, my God, fire is going to fall here now. If you are a firstborn, every cost not allowing you to move forward making your younger ones to go ahead of you by the apostolic and the prophetic be delivered now be delivered now bring them out every course of the firstborn first male first female first child tying your destiny down 
I will not let you move forward. This is koinonia. Be delivered now. Bring them out. Bring them out. My God. Hallelujah. Do you know what God showed me that I started praying? God flashed the image of people and the various idols afflicting them. I just saw it upon their heads. I pray for you. Anything your forefathers worshipped that is afflicting you now, especially if you were supposed to take over the priesthood, fire is coming upon you right now. Anyone who is a victim of the consequences of idolatry, shout Jesus right now. Shout Jesus right now. Shout Jesus right now. Shout Jesus right now. Every idol, every altar, every enchantment, you come under fire now. You come under arrest now. The cause of idolatry, I'm still praying. The cause of idolatry, you may not have known. They worship idols. They kill children to service those altars. And before those who died, died, they uttered curses and said it would not be well with your children. I come by the prophetic. Anyone here who is a victim of the ill speakings of men, consequences of idolatry, right now, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered by mercy. Be delivered by grace. Be delivered by mercy. Every predefined time, something must happen. Either someone dies, or someone goes down, or women return back to their parents' homes, or men return back. Anything that is a pattern, let me even pray it already. In the name that is above all names, I say it by the Spirit of God. Receive it all. Every parasco parita parantasiata. Every pattern, repetitive negative cycles. Hear me in the name of Jesus. I call upon the God of my covenant that if there be anything that is a pattern around your life, let that pattern be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. As you shout amen, let it be broken now. Yahweh Sabah, Yahweh Patterns. I've seen it all. I've seen intelligent people. Your grandfather begged with PhD. The son begged with PhD. There are children, they can school anywhere, but the only way they live is by begging. And they're not lazy. And then if somebody emerges and is the one to wipe the tears of the family, even an ordinary bike will kill that person. Any programming against your family in the name of Jesus Christ I call upon the God of heaven let let the God of vengeance visit your foundation now let the God of vengeance help this woman let the God of vengeance visit your foundation now let the God of vengeance visit your foundation now Whatever you tolerate will keep growing in your life. Did you hear what I said? I'm seeing a door open in the spirit. This is for business people. This is the major reason why you came. I said before you, I'm quoting revelations for you. The Lord is setting before you a very strange open door. That from tonight, no power will be able to shut that door. I'm saying it to you. April is your month. Back to back. Testimonies upon testimonies. April is your month, back to back, testimonies upon testimonies. I prophesy this to you if you believe it. Receive it and let it find expression in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
people who never heard about your business. There are angels that will noise your product, noise your services abroad, and you will receive mysterious calls. Calls that will lead to your rising, calls that will restore you financially. The hands that are lifted, no power will bring them down. Your hand represents your productivity. I say it again. The hands that are lifted, not by witchcraft, not the wickedness of men, not the antagonisms of negative people. No power will bring your hand down. No power will silence your voice. Surely they will gather, but they will not sustain the ability to diminish your influence. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, let me pray for you. And I want you to receive this. Whatever makes you use your money to service sickness, use your money to service police cases, court cases, you never have the opportunity to enjoy the blessings of God upon your life. That God has been faithful, but your money is always used to resolve tragedy. From today, may tragedy be too late for your life. Did you hear what I said? May tragedy be too late for your life. Too late for your life. Too late for your business. Too late for your ministry. Too late for your family. In the name of Jesus, shout a sevenfold amen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give Jesus a hand clap of praise. And you are going to pray and say, Father, the power of resurrection. Let it speak in my life right now. Total victory. Lift your voice and pray. The culmination of it will be when the trumpet blasts. But there are measures of it that have been given unto us to experience right now. Go ahead and pray. The power of resurrection. It must work in my life. That power that raised Christ from the dead. Someone is praying. That I may know you and that I may walk in the power of your resurrection. The power of resurrection. Of resurrection. Bringing life and vitality to my body. The power of resurrection. Keeping me alive all through the moments of my assignment. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Up from the grave he arose with the mighty triumph o'er his foes. He arose the victor from the dark domain and he leaves forever with his saints to reign. He arose, he arose. Hallelujah, Christ arose. He arose, he arose. Hallelujah, Christ arose. Last prayer point. Everything dead in my destiny, because he arose, I command you by the power of resurrection. Arise now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My health that is dead or dying arise now is someone praying because he arose from the grave everything locked up in the grave finances opportunities my destiny i command you by the power of resurrection like lazarus come forth new doors that will give me an opportunity to serve his majesty come forth go ahead and declare please pray please pray please pray, please pray. make meaning of your Easter because he arose I decree and declare I arise spiritually I arise financially I arise
destiny wise I arise and every power of the grave every power of the grave every grave clothes over my life every grave clothes over my ministry are you praying every grave clothes over my family my children pray I command you give way right now I lose those grave clothes if he arose then I arise if he arose then I arise pray over every challenge in your life financial challenges health challenges because he arose I arise refuse to remain in the grave he is risen the doctrine of resurrection demands that like he arose you also arise same power that conquered the earth lives in me ah, lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me ah, lives in me prophesy over your destiny same power that conquered the earth lives in I want to prophesy and declare and activate that power of resurrection now that you are still alive there are still other things that are dead and you can't be alive and something around your life is now dead I want to speak believe it that in the name of Jesus dead finances let the power of resurrection cause you to come back to life now Dead relationships come back to life now. Dead opportunities come back to life now. Dead health conditions. Hear me. Anyone here who is sick in your body and the devil is already trying to see that he deteriorates your body. I command that dead organ to come back to life now. dreams dreams that God gave you but for some reason they have died it comes back to life now giftings abilities that have died that God gave you to bring you increase to bring you significance I decree and declare they come back to life now I hear me anyone wearing any grave clothes in the realm of the spirit by the power that raised Christ from the dead I lose you now go free 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 in the name of Jesus hear me any family here represented that has a loved one that is not saved we release angels to those houses we release angels to those houses supernatural encounters through dreams and visions in the name of Jesus Christ hear me please anyone having dreams of untimely death 
you keep seeing yourself with dead people you keep seeing yourself dreaming or maybe prophetic words have been coming be careful i see you died i want to declare to you by reason of the power of death nothing takes you until your assignment is over i repeat nothing takes you until your assignment is over two more prayers everyone here under the yoke of the spirit of fear you can't live your life freely because you are afraid what if i go out and i die what if i come and i die what if i take a plane and it crashes what if i go by road and something happens i command that spirit of death that comes through fear to live your life now In the name of Jesus the works of your hands whatever has died hear the word of the Lord I bring to you the resurrection power hear me if the grave could not stop Jesus from coming back to life I transport anything that needs to come from the realm of the spirit into this physical realm by the resurrection power let it appear in your physical realm here hear me if jesus could leave one dimension into another then every blessing that you need locked up in the realm of the spirit i pull it down to manifest in the physical realm in the name of jesus say after me very loud and clear say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that I am a child of God born of the word and born of the spirit I believe that Jesus walked upon the earth I believe he died I believe he was buried I believe he went to the place of the dead I believe he defeated satan sin hell and the grave i believe he resurrected by the glory of the father i believe that he ascended to heaven i believe he is seated at the right hand of the father making intercession for me i believe that i am victorious in this life and hereafter no more fear no more limitations no more anxiety i am victorious today and victorious always give jesus a big shout of praise hallelujah the bible says the righteousness of faith speaketh on this wise I want you to go back home today carrying that consciousness I am victorious don't let life bully you in life you are victorious beyond it you are victorious if he rose you will rise on that day but for now everything connected to you must rise to match up what has happened in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah from my heart to the heavens Jesus be the center, it's all about you, yes it's all about you, from my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center, it's all about you, yes it's all about you, Jesus be the center of your church. Jesus be the center of your return Lives in me Your love that rescued the earth Lives in me Lives in me That's the profession of faith 
same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Speak forth your profession of faith. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Let every infirmity hear you. Let every situation hear you. Your love that rescued me. chapter 2 and verse 14 we're going to pray the bible says having spoiled principalities and powers blotting out every handwriting and ordinance that was against us which was contrary to us he took it out of the way nailing it to his cross 15 it says and having spoiled principalities the word spoiled there means to plunder them he made a show of them openly triumphing over them in it we are going to pray and we are going to shake off everything provided it was nailed to the cross it must be nailed in your life today are you ready to pray lift your voice in one minute and declare when you rose again everything that was not god died and i declare by the spirit of grace i am a child of god and everything that is not with the Christ must let me go now. Lift your voice and pray. We are praying. Someone pray. Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome, you overcome, babe Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome, Declare to the level of the spirit Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Everything that is not of God, that is in this place and in your life, is about to give up now. Listen, please do not keep quiet. In the next one minute, I'd like you to call by name everything you know was nailed to the cross that is a concern in your life and tell it in the name of Jesus it's time to go. Poverty was nailed to the cross. Costs and yokes. Delay was nailed to the cross. Is someone praying, Koinonia pray, inside, outside, following online, decree and declare, we establish the victory of the Christ over situations and circumstances, over my health, 
over my children, over my job. I declare up from the grave, he arose this victory and the partake of that victory. Politicians pray, business people pray, heads of parliament pray. Break every pain, every handwriting, every cost, every yoke, every manipulation of darkness. I come against you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. This is the time to pray. Declare ye that thou my destiny shall be Christ. Pray for your children. They come under the city of Christ. Pray for your job, your business, your ministry. Pray for your family. in Christ. Lord, I reject this position. I declare by the Spirit, prophetically, I'm moving forward. I was raised up. I must rise up. I was raised up. Now I must rise up in destiny. Never remaining down. Never remaining limited. Someone pray. You came to church to pray. Make decrees. Husband and wife, pray. Business people, pray. Decree and declare. Establish victory over this home, over this ministry, over this family. Gideon. I'm hearing a name Gideon. Who is Gideon? 
Gideon. I'm hearing a name Gideon. Where are you coming from? Gariki. Gariki. Where? Gariki. Gariki. Yes. You're Gideon. What's your name? I want to pray for you. I'm seeing the Lord bring a very great miracle to the family of Gideon. As a result of this supernatural miracle, miracles are happening here. Miracles are happening here. Is your name Gideon? Your father in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands towards you according to the word of the Lord I decree and declare the grace that establishes the victory of Christ over your lives and your families take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ oh we are talking of the power that raised Christ here from the dead help them please please ushers please let's be sensitive we are talking of the power that raised Christ from the dead. That you will never be the same. The visitation comes to your family. Comes to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I am going to pray. Please I want you to bring them out. The Lord is showing me 25 people. I am seeing the number 25. These people have gone through circles. I'm seeing repeatable patterns over their lives and their family. What is happening to someone is what is happening to another person, unconnected. Right now, I'm seeing fire just resting on people. Father, inside and outside, I declare that everyone here at this resurrection day, bring them out, who is under the yoke of patterns, patterns of witchcraft, patterns of devilish activities. Shabbat Pedekata. At the count of three, in the name of Jesus, may that fire rest from you. Bring them out. One, two, three. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. Please help them whether you are an usher or not. The benefits of Easter. Setting the captives free. I stretch my hands again across the balcony, the overflow. Anyone here, you came for Koinonia, and there is a pattern of witchcraft that will not let you go, will not let your family go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, you come on that judgment, the judgment of the Christ. Bring them out. Everyone lift your voice and begin to pray. Please pray. Victory is being established in our life. Enough is enough. There must be an opening of the gate. If it is true that he made a public show of principality, if it is true that every cost and every act it must come to an end over your life now look up please i'm still praying there are people here good things come to you but just when you are about to handle it failure even at the edge of success i'm seeing fire fall my god anyone under the sound of my voice the spirit that is back of it here in the name of the resurrected christ we declare they catch fire now bring them out oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Now look up please. The Lord is breaking patterns of death. There are families every year you must bury someone. In the name of Jesus I declare. If there is any family that death is eyeing now. I declare to decree. 
death passes over your family now. We are praying. The Lord is healing someone right now. We'll soon wrap up, but I'm seeing someone. You have an issue with your back. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. I don't know if it's whatever issue it is. Check it right now. The power of God is touching you. Check it right now. The power of God is touching you. Someone, I don't know if you are wearing a, a neck collar. Is it a neck collar or a bracelet or whatever it is? You have a problem with your neck. Check it right now. A miracle is happening to you. I'm about to pray for the sick. I believe in miracles. I believe in the victory of Jesus. I don't know who I'm speaking to. Anyone sitting on what is yours. I come by the road of the higher priesthood. Hear me. I speak as one sent by God. Anyone sitting on what is yours. Right now, I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn for families. I overturn for businesses. I overturn for politicians. I overturn. I'm hearing a name Faith. Who is Faith? Faith. You are wearing a black scarf. Faith. Who is that? Please let's ushers, let's help so that we don't make this place rowdy. Please. Please. Can we have some ushers here so that we don't make this place rowdy? Please don't just come out carelessly. Make it my, make it my, make it my. Make it, make it go, make it my. Make it my, make it my, make it my. sister look at me shout Jesus as loud as you can Jesus out of her life now never to return again help this one in the name of Jesus anyone here who is under any influence that is not of the Christ I stand by the spirit of grace and I declare and declare unto you this night it comes to an end now I stand as a prophetic rainmaker over someone's life that drought in your life in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall. For someone here, I prophesy to you, you will not see wind. You will not see rain even. But I declare by all means, may your valley be filled. Your valley be filled. Hear me. According to the law of time and chance, for some of you, certain things have gotten to your turn. 
but demon spirits made it jump over you i stand by the prophetic i take it back to your turn i take a i take it back to your turn in the name of jesus christ hear me if there is any negative programming that came either by mistake or by ignorance you didn't know and you kept speaking things now that the devil is using for some of you based on what you have said you are not even more than two years left to live because you kept cutting your years with your words i stand by the power of the prophetic and in the name of jesus i cancel every word speaking against you to every word speaking against you for the Bible says no weapon formed against you will prosper and he said every tongue that arises please hear me no matter who has said what against you maybe growing up maybe his parents sincere people but what they have said is being used by the devil it has become a, a negative rain making process by the power of the prophetic i cancel it now where they said you will fall i prophesy stand where they said you will not rise i speak fly not only rise in the name of jesus where they say you will not find helpers, you will even have to choose who to help you. Where it has been programmed that you will lose your spiritual fire, you will lose your relevance, you will lose your bishopric, you will lose your lampstand. I prophesy, 30 years from now, if Christ tarries, you will still be standing. final prophetic word anyone under the sound of my voice that this statement Ichabod has been roaming around your head that means you are good for nothing that means the glory has departed that means everybody who sees you they should treat you like an outcast in the name of Jesus I roll away that negative word I say it again for someone who has been trusting God for rain, your plans have refused to grow prophetically because the rain has refused to come. I stand tonight as a prophetic rainmaker and I say it again by the power of words because by these words the cloud is full of rain. May your rain begin to fall. Those of you in ministry, I announce to you this is your season of exploits no power in existence will downplay and demean the anointing upon your life those of you who are diplomats and captains of industry we clear the way for your relevance in the name of jesus those of you who are businessmen here and it looks like there is an embargo on your business you have tried but it looks like you are not rising if you believe this prophetic word i declare that between now and the end of october not november october in the name of jesus receive strange help from god and for everyone here who is in need of restoration between now and the miracle service, may God do something that has not been done in your life since the beginning of this year. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise. Wave your hands to Jesus. A wave offering is a mystery in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We receive this by faith. Hallelujah. Speak to me. Speak to me. I'm ready to obey. Speak.
speak to me. Let your word supply grace. Reveal the strategy. Pray. Show me the key to the next level of breakthrough, to the next level of influence, to the next level of encounter, to the next level of the anointing. over your life. There is, see, for Koinonia, God is shifting us. I know it. I feel it. God is shifting us. You can choose to believe it. You can sit down there and let other people just through the tapes. Or you can connect to the anointing and say, this is my season. I place a demand 
on everything that is at work in this house father in the name of jesus i pray let the spirit of faith the capacity to obey god without reservation the meekness the childlikeness to obey god let it be released upon your people in the name of jesus christ lord i pray that as a result of this teaching tonight let there be a rain of testimonies let there be miracles upon miracles upon miracles financial miracles miracles of multiplied graces miracles of marriages miracles of breakthroughs miracles of favor miracles of lifting in the name of jesus christ i pray that the influence of the kingdom comes upon you in the name of the lord jesus christ you will begin to command influence across your territory by the mystery of the oil of gladness let it take you above your fellows hallelujah i pray in the name of jesus that the mantle of honor that which makes men is there and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren I pray for you in the name of Jesus that beginning from tonight everywhere you go you will find men who will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ you will find men who will honor you I pray for everything that is dead or dying in this place I don't care what it is by the same power that raised Christ from the dead I speak to everything that is dead in your life I command it tonight come back to life dead academic situations come back to life now dead financial situations come back to life now dead family situations come back to life now hear me whatever has covered your glory and I stop men from seeing the hand of God I tear that veil into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ whatever has stopped men from favoring you they used to bless you but something happened mysteriously the same people are still around but the blessings have stopped I connect you by faith to that flow of the blessing in the name of Jesus Christ the season where you must bear fruit I prophesy upon you be fruitful be fruitful multiply in the name of Jesus replenish I command that you subdue every force of darkness and every force of witchcraft and every cost and every enchantment and I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus have dominion everywhere you go let there be an anointing upon you anyone that comes under the jurisdiction of your influence i compel them to bless you i compel them to honor you in the name that is above all names i command that the book of remembrance Makato Toto Balakata, like mordecai whoever has done good and your 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 reward has not come tonight as you sleep in the heavenlies let the book of remembrance be open may my god use strangers to bless you may he use strangers to bring your business back to life may my god bring strangers to bless your family and i pray for you greater levels of the anointing you belong to a ministry that works in an ever increasing anointing may that be at work in your life i command that the level you are in the anointing you have lingered there for too long step up to a new level step up to a new level a new level of the healing anointing a new level of the anointing of prophecy a new level of the gifts of the spirit in the name of jesus I release this power from here on stage upon this altar. I prophesy it. Let it touch you and let it change you. In the name of Jesus. 
Lord, your people must bear results. I command you be fruitful. I command it be fruitful. Students be fruitful. Workers be fruitful. In the name of Jesus, businessmen be fruitful. Everything that has refused to work, I invoke the laws of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command in a miraculous way, let things begin to work. Whoever needs to call you this week, whoever needs to connect you, whoever needs to come to your business, whoever needs to give you a job, I prophesy in the name of the Lord Jesus, may my Father bring them to you. I respect the fact that you are a CEO. But if the only thing in that company is business ideas, you are in trouble. Not into this world. God is calling on you and saying, will you allow me? Will you allow me come into partnership with you? By sending my anointing. There are families, all that you have are good people in the family. Goodness is not enough. You need the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The grace of God. Solomon Lange sang it so powerfully. He said, this grace of God is a thing of wonder. It's true. I have seen what God has done in my life. I submit to you, dear people of God. The whole world is watching. And I apologize if ever I sound arrogant. But I have stood before kings. I know what it means to be honored. God has helped me. I don't serve God today because of what to eat. I know what the anointing of the Holy Spirit can do. But listen to me. At this point in my life, my joy is not myself and my results again. No. You get to a point where God has been too faithful to you. You are not looking for results for yourself again. Your joy is to see what God has done in your life. Reproduced in the life of everyone. This is why the Lord granted grace to take this series. Please listen to me. Dear CEO, oil and gas, construction. Do you not know that there are many files upon that table? What makes you believe yours will be preferred? Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. Are you ready to pray? You are going to immerse everything that is a concern in your life under the influence of the anointing. It's truly time for us to rise. In one minute, I leave you with the maker of your destiny. Cry before God, the God of all flesh. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. We have just five minutes. Pray. Lord, you have brought me here tonight to lift me. Pray for your ministry. Pray for your job. The power of the Holy Ghost. The supernatural advantage upon your life. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. The overflow. Someone is praying online. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. One song by this man of God, Ekweme. The anointing of the Spirit came upon that song. And God took him and his song has been a blessing all around the globe. Help them please. Minister Solomon Lange is here. That song sang his songs on the grace of God and released it. You thought you were just listening to music but there was a grace that took that song. I remember I was one time it was Nathaniel Bassi who was telling me 
of a few years not very far nobody knew him I saw one of my photos you know all these photos when you are starting ministry that when you see is I saw what I was wearing I looked at myself I was almost going to say where am I hear me let no man despise you there is an anointing that can come are you ready to pray power from on high rest upon my life rest upon my life rest upon my ministry in the name of jesus rest upon my career someone is praying Empowerment, the capacity to produce God dimension of results in ministry, in business, in politics. Oh dear politicians, it will take more than votes and money for you to sit on that road. Oh dear career person, it will take more than the passage of time for you to excel. Please pray. Shake it, shake it, parata katoshia. Ebra tosh koto parato seketia. Hallelujah. Please look up. There are different kinds and different anointings. There is the grace for favor. There is the grace for speed. There is the grace for wealth and abundance. There really is a grace for that. There is a grace for leadership. People don't just listen to you because you are right. They listen to you because the grace to compel them to hear you is there. It's called the hear ye him anointing. There is the grace for influence. There is a grace for miracles, signs and wonders. You don't just pray for the sick. You don't just prophesy, except if you are lying. There is the grace for influence, secular influence. That in an environment like the judiciary, like, like, like parastatos, God can lift you. Daniel had such a grace. And through the reign of three kings, he was still seated. One more time, pray. Father, in my family, in my ministry, I obtain grace. Fresh grace for the new season. Tired of natural living. Tired of ministry naturally. Tired of business naturally. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now listen very carefully. Next week Sunday is the miracle service for me. And I like you to come with your heart desperate. One of the things that we're going to be receiving in that miracle service, as God grants grace, I will be calling specific people with proven track records in certain fields to release upon us the grace that took them there, where God brought them, whether it is ministry, whether it is career. Anointings are transferable. What is on you is what controls what is around you. But for tonight, let me speak over your life. Father, 
in the name of Jesus the Christ of God I decree and declare every gate that has refused to answer to your destiny use these mysteries as keys and I declare that you will swing open those gates in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare everyone here who has experienced a slow place very slow pace of your progression in life it's like you are moving but you are not moving I declare acceleration for you by the spirit I will keep praying this prayer as long as I live until I see it manifest in the lives of people the grace for visibility and influence the grace that can make the nation and a city to see what you represent and to place a demand upon you may that grace come upon your life now may that grace come upon your life now the anointing that drives men to the secret place to the place of prayer the place of fasting the place of an encounter with the world may that grace rest upon you now the mantle of honor that makes you preferred in the name that is above all names I call upon the God of my covenant may it rest upon you listen for some of you before Sunday miracle service you will come and stand here testifying of the wonder working power of Jesus Christ everyone ordained to hold your hands in this season and to lift you wherever they are in this city Abuja and the six geopolitical zones of this nation I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic I call them to your life now I call them to your life now I call them to your life now and finally I pray for you in the name of Jesus as you go back to listen to this series part one part two part three everything needed that you have missed in the name of Jesus Christ may the Holy Ghost bring it to your remembrance I declare upon you go and excel you become a sign and a wonder go and return with tears some results in the name of Jesus and whilst you are going may the angels assigned to defend the revelations you know may they walk with you I cast every spirit and every power that will want to fight you no power in existence will fight your rising you are an ambassador of the kingdom representing the purposes of God not just spiritually politically in influence business the media go and raid go and excel use this mystery as keys open ancient doors for yourself and for your loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ father I believe that he ascended to heaven I believe he is seated at the right hand of the father making intercession for me I believe that I am victorious in this life and hereafter no more fear no more limitations no more anxiety I am victorious today and victorious always give Jesus a big shout of praise hallelujah the Bible says the righteousness of faith speak it on this wise I want you to go back home today carrying that consciousness I am victorious don't let life bully you in life you are victorious beyond it you are victorious if he rose you will rise on that day but for now everything connected to you must rise to match up what has happened 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. Jesus be the center of your church. Jesus be the center of your church. Lives in me, your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. That's the profession of faith. Same power that comes at the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Speak forth your profession of faith. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Let every infirmity hear you. Let every situation hear you. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. verse 14 we're going to pray the bible says having spoiled principalities and powers blotting out every handwriting and ordinance that was against us which was contrary to us he took it out of the way nailing it to his cross 15 it says and having spoiled principalities the word spoiled there means to plunder them he made a show of them openly triumphing over them in it we are going to pray and we are going to shake off everything provided it was nailed to the cross it must be nailed in your life today are you ready to pray lift your voice in one minute and declare when you rose again everything that was not God died and I declare by the spirit of grace I am a child of God and everything that is not with the Christ must let me go now. Lift your voice and pray. We are praying. Someone pray. Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome, you overcome faith Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome Declare to the realm of the spirit Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken Every failure was cut down. Every sickness was cut down. Every delay was cut down. Every cross, every yoke. He wears the victor's crown. Bring it 
Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Everything that is not of God that is in this place and in your life is about to give up now. Listen. Please do not keep quiet. In the next one minute, I'd like you to call by name everything you know was nailed to the cross that is a concern in your life and tell it in the name of Jesus it's time to go. Poverty was nailed to the cross. Costs and yokes. Delay was nailed to the cross. Is someone paying koinonia pay inside, outside, following online, decree and declare, we establish the victory of the Christ over situations and circumstances, over my health, over my children, over my job. I declare up from the grave, he arose in victory and the partake of that victory. Politicians pray, business people pray, heads of parliament pray. Break every pain, every handwriting, every cost, every yoke, every manipulation of darkness. I come against you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. This is the time to pray. Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Pray for your children. They come under the city of Christ. Pray for your job, your business, your ministry. Pray for your family.
Hallelujah. Who is Gideon? I'm hearing a name Gideon. Who is Gideon? Gideon. I'm hearing a name Gideon. Where are you coming from? Gariki. Gariki. Where? Gariki. 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 Yes. You're Gideon. What's your name? I want to pray for you. I'm seeing the Lord bring a very great miracle to the family of Gideon. As a result of this supernatural miracle, miracles are happening here. Miracles are happening here. Is your name Gideon? Your father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands towards you. According to the word of the Lord, I decree and declare the grace that establishes the victory of Christ over your lives and your families. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we are talking of the power that raised Christ here from the dead. Help them, please. Please, ushers, please let's be sensitive. We are talking of the power that raised Christ from the dead. that you will never be the same the visitation comes to your family comes to you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now i'm going to pray please i want you to bring them out the lord is showing me 25 people i'm seeing the number 25 these people have gone through circles i'm seeing repeatable patterns over their lives and their family what is happening to someone is what is happening to another person unconnected right now i'm seeing fire just resting on people father inside and outside i declare that everyone here at this resurrection they bring them out who is under the yoke of patterns patterns of witchcraft patterns of devilish activities at the count of three in the name of jesus may that fire rest for you bring them out one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire please help them whether you are an usher or not the benefits of easter setting the captives free i stretch my hands again across the balcony the overflow anyone here you came for koinonia and there is a pattern of witchcraft that will not let you go will not let your family go in the name of jesus the christ of god you come on that judgment the judgment of the christ bring them out everyone lift your voice and begin to pray please pray victory is being established in our lives Enough is enough. There must be an opening of the gate. If it is true that he made a public show of principality, if it is true that every cost and every ash, it must come to an end over your life. Now look up, please. I'm still praying. There are people here, good things come to you, but just when you are about to handle it, failure, even at the edge of success, I'm seeing fire fall, my God. Anyone under the sound of my voice, the spirit that is back of it, here in the name of the resurrected Christ, 
we declare they catch fire now. Bring them out. Oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah. Hallelujah. Now look up, please. The Lord is breaking patterns of death. There are families every year you must bury someone. In the name of Jesus, I declare if there is any family that death is eyeing now, I declare and decree death passes over your family now. We are praying. The Lord is healing someone right now. We'll soon wrap up, but I'm seeing someone. You have an issue with your back. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. I don't know if it's whatever issue it is. Check it right now. The power of God is touching you. Check it right now. The power of God is touching you. Someone, I don't know if you are wearing a, a neck collar. Is it a neck collar or a bracelet or whatever it is? You have a problem with your neck, check it right now. A miracle is happening to you. I'm about to pray for the stick. I believe in miracles. I believe in the victory of Jesus. I don't know who I'm speaking to. Anyone sitting on what is yours. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. Hear me. I speak as one sent by God. Anyone sitting on what is yours right now, I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. For families, I overturn. For businesses, I overturn. For politicians, I overturn. I'm hearing a name faith who is faith faith you're wearing a black scarf faith who is that please let's ushers let's help so that we don't make this place rowdy please please can we have some ushers here so that we don't make this place rowdy please don't just come out carelessly Make it my, make it my, make it my. Make it make it go, make it my. Make it my, make it my, make it my. Ah, why you come out of the My sister, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of her life now, never to return again. Help this one. In the name of Jesus, anyone here who is under any influence that is not of the Christ, I stand by the spirit of grace and I decree and declare unto you, this night it comes to an end now. I stand as a prophetic rainmaker over someone's life. That drought in your life, in the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise, I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let 
the rain begin to fall. For someone here, I prophesy to you, you will not see wind. You will not see rain even. But I declare by all means, may your valley be filled. May your valley be filled. Hear me. According to the law of time and chance, for some of you, certain things have gotten to your tongue, but demon spirits made it jump over you. I stand by the prophetic. I take it back to your tongue. I take a pakoskete bekata. I take it back to your tongue. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. If there is any negative programming that came either by mistake or by ignorance you didn't know and you kept speaking things now that the devil is using for some of you based on what you have said you are not even more than two years left to live because you kept cutting your years with your words i stand by the power of the prophetic and in the name of jesus i cancel every word speaking against you to every word speaking against you for the Bible says no weapon formed against you will prosper and he said every tongue that arises please hear me no matter who has said what against you maybe growing up maybe his parents sincere people but what they have said is being used by the devil it has become a, a negative rain making process by the power of the prophetic i cancel it now where they said you will fall i prophesy stand where they said you will not rise i speak fly not only rise in the name of jesus where they say you will not find helpers, you will even have to choose who to help you. Where it has been programmed that you will lose your spiritual fire, you will lose your relevance, you will lose your bishopric, you will lose your lampstand. I prophesy, 30 years from now, if Christ tarries, you will still be standing. final prophetic word anyone under the sound of my voice that this statement Ichabod has been roaming around your head that means you are good for nothing that means the glory has departed that means everybody who sees you they should treat you like an outcast in the name of Jesus I roll away that negative word I say it again for someone who has been trusting God for rain, your plans have refused to grow prophetically because the rain has refused to come. I stand tonight as a prophetic rainmaker and I say it again by the power of words because by these words the cloud is full of rain. May your rain begin to fall. Those of you in ministry, I announce to you this is your season of exploits. No power in existence will downplay and demean the anointing upon your life. Those of you who are diplomats and captains of industry, we clear the way for your relevance. In the name of Jesus. Those of you who are businessmen here, 
and it looks like there is an embargo on your business you have tried but it looks like you are not rising if you believe this prophetic word i declare that between now and the end of october not november october in the name of jesus receive strange help from god And for everyone here who is in need of restoration between now and the miracle service may god do something that has not been done in your life since the beginning of this year <laughs> hallelujah wave your hands to jesus and give him praise wave your hands to jesus a wave offering is a mystery in the spirit thank you jesus we bless you. We receive this by faith. Hallelujah. Speak to me. Speak to me. I'm ready to obey. Speak to me. Let your word supply grace. Reveal the strategy. Pray. Show me the key to the next level of breakthrough, to the next level of influence, to the next level of encounter, to the next level of the anointing.
Lift your hands and let me prophesy over your life. There is, see, for Koinonia, God is shifting us. I know it. I feel it. God is shifting us. You can choose to believe it. You can sit down there and let other people just through the tapes. Or you can connect to the anointing and say, this is my season. I place a demand on everything that is at work in this house. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Let the spirit of faith, the capacity to obey God without reservation, the meekness, the childlikeness to obey God, let it be released upon your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that as a result of this teaching tonight, let there be a rain of testimonies. Let there be miracles upon miracles upon miracles. Financial miracles. Miracles of multiplied graces. Miracles of marriages. Miracles of breakthroughs. Miracles of favor. Miracles of lifting. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the influence of the kingdom comes upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will begin to command influence across your territory. By the mystery of the oil of gladness. Let it take you above your fellows. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus. That the mantle of honor. That which makes men. Is there and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren i pray for you in the name of jesus that beginning from tonight everywhere you go you will find men who will honor you in the name of jesus christ you will find men who will honor you i pray for everything that is dead or dying in this place i don't care what it is by the same power that raised Christ from the dead. I speak to everything that is dead in your life. I command it tonight. Come back to life. Dead academic situations. Come back to life now. Dead financial situations. Come back to life now. Dead family situations. Come back to life now. Hear me. Whatever has covered your glory. And I stop men from seeing the hand of God. I tear that veil into pieces. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever has stopped men from favoring you. They used to bless you. But something happened mysteriously. The same people are still around. But the blessings have stopped. I connect you by faith. To that flow of the blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ. the season where you must bear fruit I prophesy upon you be fruitful be fruitful multiply in the name of Jesus replenish I command that you subdue every force of darkness and every force of witchcraft and every cost and every enchantment and I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus have dominion everywhere you go let there be an anointing upon you. Anyone that comes under the jurisdiction of your influence, I compel them to bless you. I compel them to honor you. In the name that is above all names, I command that a book of remembrance, Makato Toto Balakata, like Mordecai, whoever has done good and your, 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 your reward has not come, tonight as you sleep, in the heavenlies let the book of remembrance be open 
may my God use strangers to bless you. May He use strangers to bring your business back to life. May my God bring strangers to bless your family. And I pray for you. Greater levels of the anointing. You belong to a ministry that works in an ever-increasing anointing. May that be at work in your life. I command that the level you are in the anointing, you have lingered yet for too long. Step up to a new level. Step up to a new level. A new level of the healing anointing. A new level of the anointing of prophecy. A new level of the gifts of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I release this power from here on stage upon this altar. I prophesy it. Let it touch you and let it change you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, your people must bear results. I command you be fruitful. I command it be fruitful. Students be fruitful. Workers be fruitful. In the name of Jesus, businessmen be fruitful. Everything that has refused to work, I invoke the laws of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command in a miraculous way, let things begin to work. Whoever needs to call you this week, whoever needs to connect you, whoever needs to come to your business, whoever needs to give you a job, I prophesy in the name of the Lord Jesus, may my Father bring them to you. I respect the fact that you are a CEO but if the only thing in that company is business ideas you are in trouble not in today's world God is calling on you and saying will you allow me will you allow me come into partnership with you by sending my anointing there are families all that you have are good people in the family goodness is not enough you need the anointing of the Holy Ghost the grace of God Solomon Lange sang it so powerfully. He said, this grace of God is a thing of wonder. It's true. I have seen what God has done in my life. I submit to you, dear people of God. The whole world is watching. And I apologize if ever I sound arrogant. But I have stood before kings. I know what it means to be honored. God has helped me. I don't serve God today because of what to eat. I know what the anointing of the Holy Spirit can do. But listen to me. At this point in my life, my joy is not myself and my results again. No. You get to a point where God has been too faithful to you. You are not looking for results for yourself again. Your joy is to see what God has done in your life. Reproduced in the life of everyone. This is why the Lord granted grace to take this series. Please listen to me. Dear CEO, oil and gas, construction. Do you not know that there are many files upon that table? What makes you believe yours will be preferred? Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. Are you ready to pray? You are going to immerse everything that is a concern in your life under the influence of the anointing. It's truly time for us to rise. In one minute, I leave you with the maker of your destiny. Cry before God, the God of all flesh. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. We have just five minutes. Pray. Lord, you have brought me here tonight to lift me. Pray for your ministry. Pray for your job. The power of the Holy Ghost. The supernatural advantage upon your life. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. 
the overflow. Someone is praying online. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. One song by this man of God, a queer man. The anointing of the spirit came upon that song and God took him and his song has been a blessing all around the globe help them please minister Solomon Lange is here that song sang his songs on the grace of God and released it you thought you were just listening to music but there was a grace that took that song I remember I was one time it was Nathaniel Bassi who was telling me of a few years not very far nobody knew him I saw one of my photos you know all these photos when you are starting ministry that when you see is I saw what I was wearing I looked at myself I was almost going to say where am I let no man despise you there is an anointing that can come are you ready to pray power from on high rest upon my life rest upon my life rest upon my ministry in the name of Jesus rest upon my career someone is praying Empowerment, the capacity to produce God's dimension of results in ministry, in business, in politics. Oh, dear politician, it will take more than votes and money for you to sit on that throne. Oh, dear career person. It will take more than the passage of time for you to excel. Please pray. Hallelujah. Please look up. There are different kinds and different anointings. There is the grace for favor. There is the grace for speed. There is the grace for wealth and abundance. There really is a grace for that. There is a grace for leadership. People don't just listen to you because you are right. They listen to you because the grace to compel them to hear you is there. It's called the hear ye him anointing. There is the grace for influence. There is a grace for miracles, signs and wonders. You don't just pray for the sick. You don't just prophesy, except if you are lying. There is the grace for influence, secular influence. That in an environment like the judiciary, like, like, like parastatals, God can lift you. Daniel had such a grace. And through the reign of three kings, he was still seated. One more time, pray. Father, in my family, in my ministry, I obtain grace. Fresh grace for the new season. Tired of natural living. Tired of ministry naturally. Tired of business naturally. Shabaka <laughs> 
Alléluia. Alléluia. Praise the Lord. Now listen very carefully. Next week Sunday is the miracle service for me. And I'd like you to come with your heart desperate. One of the things that we're going to be receiving in that miracle service, as God grants grace, I will be calling specific people with proven track records in certain fields to release upon us the grace that took them there, where God brought them, whether it is ministry, whether it is career. Anointings are transferable. What is on you is what controls what is around you. But for tonight, let me speak over your life. Father, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, I decree and declare every gate that has refused to answer to your destiny, use these mysteries as keys and I declare that you will swing open those gates. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare everyone here who has experienced a slow place very slow pace of your progression in life it's like you are moving but you are not moving I declare acceleration for you by the spirit I will keep praying this prayer as long as I live until I see it manifest in the lives of people the grace for visibility and influence the grace that can make the nation and a city to see what you represent and to place a demand upon you may that grace come upon your life now may that grace come upon your life now the anointing that drives men to the secret place to the place of prayer the place of fasting the place of an encounter with the world may that grace rest upon you now the mantle of honor that makes you preferred in the name that is above all names I call upon the God of my covenant may it rest upon you listen for some of you before Sunday miracle service you will come and stand here testifying of the wonder working power of Jesus Christ everyone ordained to hold your hands in this season and to lift you wherever they are in this city Abuja and the six geopolitical zones of this nation I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic I call them to your life now I call them to your life now I call them to your life now and finally I pray for you in the name of Jesus as you go back to listen to this series part one part two part three everything needed that you have missed in the name of Jesus Christ may the Holy Ghost bring it to your remembrance I declare upon you go and excel you become a sign and a wonder go and return with tears some results in the name of Jesus and whilst you are going may the angels assigned to defend the revelations you know may they walk with you I cast every spirit and every power that will want to fight you no power in existence will fight your rising you are an ambassador of the kingdom representing the purposes of God not just spiritually politically in influence business the media go and raid go and excel use this mystery as keys open ancient doors for yourself and for your loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ we believe you were blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. 
we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you